Yeah, you're doing well. Yeah. Good to get well. Um, can you uh, bring us up to date with the injury situation for start with please? Yes. Um, yeah, Martin Skriddle is um, yeah, not too good. Um, I think you, you know about it. Um, it's it's hamstring with uh, the tendon. A little, 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 little of the tendon is involved, so it needs time. We don't know how long because um, Martin is a tough guy. He usually he recovers quick. But um, yeah, we can of course not make pressure on in this, so we have to wait. I think a few weeks for sure. So it's really bad for us, but not to change anymore. Um, next one, Dijon Lovren is back in training. Uh, he trained now two days in a row, completely normal with the team. Is since I would say five, six days in something like normal training. Um, so that he's available for tomorrow. Yeah, Daniel is is um, still doing his his um, his little preseason in a good way. His uh, intensive training with him and his time. But um, we will do this for yeah. I don't know how many days, but of course um, seven, eight, nine, ten days like this to train, and then we will see um, what happens then. Um, who else? Simon. Simon, it's back, trained normal today, and will train normal tomorrow. So he's Milda. no chance. Millie, no, Millie with a calf. It's um, yeah, nobody knows where it came from. It was not in the game. It was, uh, it, um, but we have now, we have to wait. It's one, two weeks. I don't know exactly. <laughs> so um, and. Uh, that's not too good for us too. Um, who else? <laughs> it's a long list. Sorry. Yeah, Jordan is. Um, that's really bad for him and for us too. It's uh, it, it, in in Sion. Well, it's the other side. A similar similar um, injury like before. Again, hamstring. Felt it after two, three, five minutes in the game. It was really disappointing for him. Um, and um, so that needs time too, a really long time. So, given all the injury problems that you've had, well, ever since you've been here, really, and, and some of the results that you've been having as well, are you finding that you're asking yourself and, and, and more, more and more questions about the score, about the players that you've got here, about how you need to go forward? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> What's the target of your question? So, are you, in some ways, finding out more now about the squad that you have? Yeah, of course. The cost of but that's but that's a, that's a process that will never finish. So it's um, of course. Um, so you you learn more, and um, that's what I said. Um, we have we have to um, first of all we have to avoid starts like we had too often in this season. So we have to we, have, we always we, after a few minutes or too often we have a result um, it's not the result we want. So I would like to defend the one nil, but not to always to strike back after nil one. So that's um, that's a situation. It's not. Uh, it happened like it happened uh, in the in the in the last two or three or more games, and um, so that's that's not the best thing. But um, that says nothing about uh, the quality of things like this. So we we make our difficulties by ourselves. You can say uh, so. And for this, of course, we need to be um, concentrated tomorrow. From the first second on, that that's for sure. But um, if you um, ask me because of transfers or what, uh, I'm not sure that I understood the question right. Well, one question that I was going to ask next was: We're hearing the reports from Red Star that they're about to sign Marco Grujic. Is there anything you can tell us about that? No, there's nothing to tell about that. Um, but um, especially or, or in common about uh, transfers, it how I said all the time: We have to. We we, we are. We try to be prepared all the time, but then the, this this window in, in, in general is not is not the easiest one, yeah, the, and um, so there are big prices um, on the market and things like this. So I'm not um, the, the the biggest friend of um, of uh, the general transfer window. But what I always said, if we have to react, we will react. That's that's normal. Um, so I'm I, I'm not long enough here to 
maybe a player will leave us. I don't know. If he comes to me and say, okay, I'm not, it's not a situation I want, then maybe we have to react or whatever, or another injury. We have a lot of games in the transfer window, so I can. That's what I always try to say. We are not planning because of only to get more players and more players and more players. That's now how uh, I think how we should work. But if we have to react, we will react. That's it. Uh, Claudio Ranieri has been saying some nice things about you uh, this week. I understand he spent a week with you, well, not with you personally, but yes, a few days in, in Germany. So <laughs> yeah. I'm just wondering, in terms of your feelings towards Claudio as well, the relationship and, and how that week went for you. It was very good for me. Things like this are always a big honour for me because Claudio Ranieri is one of the most experienced and successful coaches in the world. And when he asked for um, joining us uh, in training, uh, how he did, um, I don't know exactly when it was last year. Yeah, of course, it's um, it's always interesting to talk to to people like like him, and that's what we did. And um, I think there's a big respect from both sides. And um, yeah, <laughs> and I was I was always um, I knew always that um, he will. Um, Will be st will stay successful um, in his in his uh, Manchester career. It's a long career and uh, different different um, situations. I think with the Greek national team was not the, the, the greatest fun, uh, but uh, try now a few other manager after after him, and it's not easy in this moment. But what you can see now with Leicester is what I said is you need a little bit of luck. That's what they know, but it's no coincidence. So it's really hard work, and they 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 deserved the run they are in. So that's um, it's a good defending. We have um, and it's a nearly perfect um, counter-attacking football. That's um, really quick, high quality, uh, luck with injuries. Um, that you don't have too too much. That's what you need um, in in situations like Leicester is now. But um, there's really big respect for for Claudio and um, yeah for the whole um, squad of Leicester because they are doing really well and. Um, um, if you not play against them, what we have to do now, um, it's it's uh, it's easy to enjoy. Can I ask you about your relationship that you continue to enjoy with the, the fans now? <laughs> as well, in the last game at Anfield, obviously you went across to, to the cop to share the, the late goal and the equaliser, as it were. Um, I'm just wondering if you plan maybe to do that again, should you win in this game, and given that. The next four after that are all away from home. How important it is to to say goodbye to them with a smile. <laughs> it's really interesting for me. It's the first time in my life I live in a foreign country. Yeah, I, I thought I knew I, I knew a lot about England because I was here a few times and um, I enjoyed the time always when I was young and things like this. But you, of course, yeah, we look really similar. Yeah, but. It seemed to be well, in some cases really different. I'm not sure if the people are different or only the journalists are different to me. I'm not sure, but um, these questions I don't understand really. I don't understand because to to talk always about this, um, it, it's, we played really. Um, I don't want to talk about Watford again because it's a really bad thing to talk about. But two weeks ago, and and this make if it was what I said, it was a decision in the moment. I never planned it. I didn't think if we play draw against West Brom, maybe we should. So of course not. So uh, we want to we wanted to win this game, and we, we we didn't obviously, and it was the situation. If a situation like this will come again, or if somebody will tell me we enjoyed it really, Liverpool fans, we enjoyed it. Please do things like this more often. But uh, nobody told me. So I think they did. Though. I'm not saying it because it was a nice thing. I'm not saying it detrimentally. I'm saying it because it, it appeared to be a nice link between. Ah. Yourself and the supporters. It wasn't, it wasn't a bad thing. So you are the first one. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the first one who asked me in this with this thinking behind. All the others were, well, why did you do blah blah blah? And that's what I can it's not easy to understand. What I what everybody could see, I'm I would like to be cooler, but I'm pretty emotional. So you can see it in my face sometimes. Sometimes I laugh more than I should. Sometimes I look more angry than I should. And somebody, sometimes nobody knows what my face should mean. So 
especially I don't know in this moment. So um, and that's uh, that's the thing. But it's not. Yeah, I I like to I like to be close with the fans. But it's not a thing from one side. I cannot say, "Come on, together and let's do this." It have to, we have to, to to build it up. We cannot say, "Come on, from this point on." So it's it's always in football. That's how it should be. It's that everybody can see what we do is not only the normal thing. We try to do more, and that's what I want to see. And if we try this, I think it's no problem if the if the crowd try it too. So why not? We have we have ninety eight minutes. To, to, to try everything to, to, to win the game um, or to get a result, a deserved result and um, fight for this. And I, for me, it's always a common fight. It's always together. And that's why I love this game. And, um, but it's not with words. It's only what, with what you're doing. So, and, um, so we try to, to create situations um, with, where everybody in the stadium and around the world who is interested in LFC feels really good and it's not difficult to have a smile in his face in your face when you think um, um, of um, or on uh, LFC so that's what's our what our first job is and I know now the whole world stands still around us it's Christmas in all the Christian world around so they all sit at home or on stay whatever and only interested during this game in this game and we know about this responsibility and we, we, we try to, to manage it, we try to be prepared. It's a difficult game. Yeah, it's the leader of the table. It's the leader of the Premier League. It's a deserved leader of the Premier League. So it's 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 really it's not easy, but it's possible. And I don't need more, never. So and now let's try to do. And I hope we don't have to discuss that often about um, things what happens after the game. So. So Jürgen, it's Christmas, as you mentioned. Um, Yeah, so I should go to the beach. Yeah? <laughs> so uh, yeah, I have no. Um, what I said, um, yeah. Today we celebrate all um, um, Jesus Christ, so that's it's really easy for me. Pretty easy for me. Um, usually we try to go to church on a day like this. Um, I'm not sure that I will find one today because um, it's a different tradition um, in in England. But it's more a feeling than um, a thing that you have to do something special on this day. So, um, I will celebrate Jesus Christ today. That's no problem. I don't uh, have enough time for this, and um, then yeah, I will try to to start preparing um, the game of um, of Boxing Day against Leicester. So it's a complete enormity. It's not it's not a problem. So I don't feel I have to now to to be somewhere else. I am in the right place. I I enjoy this. Is everything is good, but um, it's. Uh, it's a special time because um, we are usually all in a, in, a, in, a, in, in, in a surrounding or in circumstances where all the people come, cool down and say, come on, eat something, come on, do this, watch a film, do this, and we have to go out and do our best. So that's a challenge, I think, for the players more than for me because yeah, um, I'm older and had, my, had a lot of Christmas, <laughs> very good Christmas um, um, days. So, but everything is okay. Um, it's not the most emotional Christmas I ever had, but it's very special, and that's okay. Mike? Yeah, and, uh, how have the players responded in training this week to the poor performance and results of Watford, which you described as, uh, as your worst time since taking over? Has there been indications that the players have, uh, have got the message from, of what you want from them? Yeah, we had, we had a very good training week. Uh, to say, and that's it's really. I mean, the, the players are very focused. It was, um, it was a big knock what we got in Watford. Um, yeah, we had we had this start in the game. It's not easy. Watford is in a good run too. They, what I said, they played easy. We played difficult, um, too difficult. Um, we we played like they wanted we play and all these things. So there were a lot we could work on in this week. We tried to do this because um, the difference is not the biggest one. It's a, it's a similar similar plan. What the, what the two teams um, try to t try to play, uh, Watford and um, and Leicester, um, and so yeah, if we if we took all the informations from the last week, then we, then we are really good prepared for this game. But um, yeah, it's over. That's the best thing. 
to say about about the game. It's um, it's one week ago, so um, we had we had our our um, we had our moment after the game where we could speak about this, and then you have to to ignore it. You have to use the information to get, but the rest you have to ignore, and you have to um, yeah. To, to looking forward to look forward to the to the next game to the next chance and it's a big chance. Uh, are you surprised at, at how well they've been rewarding both teams in winning so many matches, particularly the Leicester? Yeah, since I'm here, I'm not surprised. And before this, I I I, I didn't think too much about it, uh, to be honest. And that's uh, so now you see how football works. It, that's that's absolutely clear. You you need to. Use and take your chances you got. That's what they did. They really don't need too many chances to score goals. They have um, two obvious um, strong strike offensive player, whatever you want, with a perfect run, no injuries, can go all week, have a long week to train, have enough time to recover. That's how football is, and you have to use this situation. That's what they did. So that's what I mean. It's really deserved. But I'm not surprised anymore. Nobody's surprised anymore. This is real quality. They have a clear style to play, and uh, and that's successful. Carl, Jürgen, another injury to one of your central defenders. How much of a problem does that does that cause you with the continual change happening in that, in that key area? I would like to change sometimes centre half to Paul because um, of a big number of games, but not because we have to, only because we want to, and that's what we couldn't do for the last uh, few weeks because always one of. Um, the the boys were were injured, and um, yeah, you see, it's um, Mama. We lost Mama in a perfect situation when he was in perfect shape, and he came back and had of, of course problems. It was a, a, a worse game from all of us, but it was not, e and it's not easy for him to come in for a five weeks injured player. It's you play good, and then you have some situation, but he had too many balls, blah blah blah, all this thing, and it was not easy for him. No. Now Deja not this long break. He was in perfect shape before he before he left. Now we have to see what what will happen. And now Martin is missing uh, and things like that. That's not perfect, but it's not to change. It's not it's not our um, never ever the situation to complain about things like this. We did what we did in um, uh, in Watford because we had to change. We wanted to change offensive. So we took Luke in in the last row. Well, it was okay. So we always will have, sorry, we always will have um, a solution um, or three, four more solutions. But that, to be, that the situation would be perfect. Yeah, no injuries. You can change when you want and not when you have to. Enjoy your Christmas.